So jet ski teardown is done. That segment is over with. Now we're going to start day one of the jet ski build. We got the new chan sitting here upside down. She's dirty. Today we're going to do uh, first pump alignment. We'll go over how we do this. Gonna be running a 155 stock, loosen some weight because I went from a, one, a 144 stainless mag to a 155 stock aluminum, losing some weight. <clears throat> First thing I'm gonna do is set it up in here. Got a special, special, special tool here. I'll show you in a sec. So on this pookie here, just gonna. Sand, yeah, a little sand, bit. sand that area up and I'll just we'll just mix up a little bit and I'll cover it and then just sand it smooth. Run it. Yeah. Just figure why it's upside down. It's easy yeah. to fix. <clears throat> yeah, I figure next time just paint this entire thing white. Sand it all down. And you know, we're, I think you still got some time because see, that's a, that's epoxy primer that was in the mold, which that mm -hmm. stuff is usually somewhat. Well, thin. I mean, I'm talking like next summer it will be done. It's not like a. Yeah. 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 I mean, next summer it will have this painted white and this turf removed <laughs> and re-turfed. It's hard. It's a hard choice. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool how that goes with it, but man, why does a tarnishing ugly mug? Yeah, I think black would look good forever. Good. If you put greasy parts in the tray, it's okay. Yeah, you can't see it. You can't see it. So, anyways, this uh, 155 didn't. No, but the chan doesn't take dowel pins. I gotta yank these dowel pins out. Because <clears throat> there's no spots in the tray for dowel pins. So, some of the struggles with owning an aftermarket ski is it's not all straight. Um, you gotta think some human being laid this up in a mold or, you know, laid up some glass and they measured everything and everything's not gonna be straight. So, one of the things they did is this one lines up, this one lines up, this one lines up. When you line up those three, this fourth one here, as you see, like I'm at to dish it out over into this corner here, because it doesn't line up at all. Well, it's about half, I'd say. But, so I gotta mark it, go get the Dremel, Dremel out that side, check it. Then I can start pump alignment. Okay. Hold on to this thing and get some, some juice, magical jungle juice. I got half. I thought about getting half, and I was <laughs> like, maybe, just maybe. Just kind of just do that just a little bit. It doesn't like much. Oh, you hit my phone. Oh, sorry. No, I'm good. Sorry, sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> if I could put that in the drill, it'd probably work.
Get some light in here. Some snap on light. So. So this is my mid shaft. And as you can see, it's not straight in there. We're gonna have to get this sucker straight. How we're gonna do that? First things first, pulling the blade on. So now that I went and found the right length bolts, Isn't touching any. Oh yeah, she's snugging up now. So this is a pull. If you ever pull your pump and put it back in, you don't know your shims. You need to have it. But for people like me or you that only probably does this once every <laughs> new hole. <laughs> you probably don't need this fancy, fancy tool. Okay. So, read it, but it is a cold fusion driveline alignment fixture. Yamaha style bulkhead plate. So how it works is when I get that thing center, this drive shaft, this sweet, sweet little dongle will slide in that hole. Right now, she's not going in there. It'll slide all the way in there, and this here little big side will be flush up against this. So that's where we're at. So it looks like we need to come down a few. So here's the part we go in and out, in and out, in and out. So since we need the driveline inside the ski to come down, we need this ass end of the ski to go up. So we get our shims out. This is all my driveline stuff that came out of my chan. My other other chan, which is for sale. Any else subscribers looking for a freestyle ski? I got a glass chin for sale, and I will hook you up. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake